Moktam and Babu Minyan have a very dark history of hate toward each other, plain out hate. From troll tweets to just plain out insults, these guys do not get along. But today, they have agreed to come in our kitchen and battle it out on the very first episode of Food vs. Noob Moktam. <laughs> First, let's get to know our contestants. Moktam is a self-proclaimed funny man of the group. He is well known for his failed streaming career and his very odd review videos. He's not shy about professing his hate for a much better cook, but he says, quote unquote, this will be an easy win. Quote unquote, Bobby will go home crying. Welcome our noob, Moktam. How you doing, Mulk Time? Yeah, no one really cares. But it is my honor, my pleasure, to introduce one of the most famous chef cookers. He is known for many different recipes, including his hot dog recipe, which has taken over the world by storm. Welcome our food, the one, the only, Bobby Mignon. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay. All right. All right, bye-bye, 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 <laughs> got you, man. Welcome, Bobby, welcome, Bobby. I just want to say I, I am a big fan, okay? I just, just want to put that out there real quick, okay? Uh, well, of course, of course you're a big fan. Of course you're a big fan. It's, I mean, it's always good to meet fans, but, I mean, they're everywhere, so. It's finally time to put the foot to the pan and get this competition started. First up, our absolute noob, Mulk Time. This, by far, will be a cakewalk. And by cakewalk, I mean pizza walk. <laughs> and by pizza walk, I mean I'm gonna walk all over that smug Bobby Mignon's face. So this will be the first time I made pizza, which means I've made more pizza than that Stay Puff Marshmallow Man that calls himself a chef. Because only thing coming out of that microwave is worse garbage than comes out of my wet wipe trash can. <laughs> you know? You get it? The wet wipe trash cans are gross. Yucky. The only ingredients I need is cheese, pizza sauce, and a crust. Because this is going to be as simple as one, two, three ingredients. <laughs> you see, see what I did there? Now I'm going to put this thing in the oven because I'm not a five year old kid that pretends to be a chef and can only use the microwave. And, and by the way, have, have we confirmed that he can even reach the microwave? Is he on a stool? I mean, we never see the waist down, okay? I, I can't confirm this. Did I make the crust? If by make you mean I made myself get up and go to the shelf and get the crust, then yes, all the time, M milk time. Look, the difference between a kid cooking cheese pizza and a real chef cooker is a real chef cooker can take any ingredients and cook them up into a paradise of love. If you didn't know in my anagram, in this scenario, the kid was milk time. Well, uh, first of all, I am going to have to cut up this pizza. Uh, I am not making pizza for a full army. I don't need this big of a pizza. I'm only cooking for one person. What does he, what does he want? Personal pan pizza, that's what he wants. He doesn't want to he wants the large pizza. It's like calling him fat. Hey, hey, here, fatty, have a have a large pizza. I'm gonna throw all sorts of toppings on this pizza because let's be honest, I could throw straight dirt on this thing. It would be better than Mulk Times review videos. <laughs> Hashtag got him. Hashtag get good. Hashtag Bobby's team. Are my ingredients fresh? Uh, fresh out of the package. Do I look like a farmer? Uh, no, I look like an amazing chef cooker that poops excellence and then has that for dinner sometimes. There's your poop joke for your stupid review videos, Mulk Time. Have that on the house. Of course, we're going to put some pepperoni on there. Uh, this is a shout out to our London viewers. Our next ingredient is my secret ingredient. This is my secret ingredient, uh, the animal crackers. And our last ingredient is a fortune cookie. 
Now slam that puppy in the microwave for five minutes and get it screaming. This is my favorite part of Food vs. Noob. I finally get to try the food. First up is our noob, Molt Time, and uh, yeah, he's a big old noob. First of all, this looks like straight garbage. Where's your presentation? You learn anything from Bobby? Anything at all? You have to dress the plate. You give me this garbage pizza on this garbage cheap plate and expect me to not only eat it, but like it. Who are you cooking for? Are you cooking for an army? Because this is a big pizza. I can't eat all this. What do you expect me to eat all this? You call me fat? Mm. Uh, there, there's too much sauce. There's too much cheese. I feel like I'm eating Italy and Wisconsin at the same time. How, how, did, how did you even cook this? With an oven? Are you kidding me? I'm not trying to eat toast with pizza sauce and cheese on it. Well, that wasn't a good show for our new milk time. Let's see what our food Bobby has in store for us. Honestly, I cannot wait. Absolutely beautiful chef cooker Bobby Mignon. I can't tell if I'm looking at the painting Mona Lisa or actual pizza. I can't tell the difference. I can't do it. You ask me and you put it in the lineup and I'll be like, I don't, I don't know. They, they're both Mona Lisa. Is, it, is, that, a, is that an option? Oh, mm. the ingredients are like having a having a dance party in my mouth. It's like a it's like an EDM festival in my mouth, and everyone's invited. Excellent job, bravo, bravo, Bobby, bravo. Finally, my final judgment. It should come to no surprise who's winning this one. Mulk time, you have brought me garbage on a plate. You might as well have gone to the bathroom got the garbage from the bathroom, dumped it on a plate, and told me to eat it. But Bobby, oh Bobby, totally a hashtag Bobby team by the way, you brought me excellence on a plate. I was afraid to eat it because I thought I would ruin the masterpiece. You have by far won our very first food versus noob. And Mulk Time, Mulk Time, Please, just stick to crappy review videos. I mean, really, who wouldn't have thought that I would have won? I mean, it was really unfair. I actually kind of feel bad for Monk Time. I always say, if you can't be funny, then cook. And he can't do either.